Hi everyone! In the last video we made our first outfit conversion by refitting the demo top from UNP to CBBE. But we didn't actually get it ready to go into Skyrim, so this video and the next will cover the finishing steps. The final part of any outfit conversion will almost always be the same, no matter how you've done the refitting. And you've got two choices for the last steps either making it into a body slide project, or putting the outfit directly into the game. In this video, we will walk through how to turn the refitted outfit into a body slide project. We'll follow up in the next one by instead turning it into size 0 and size 1 NIFs to put directly into the game. As a quick aside, this is the only body slide project video that I'm planning to make as part of my Outfit Studio tutorial series but I will be including more videos on this topic in the Body Slide series, so please have a look at that playlist if you are interested. We are only scratching the surface of Body Slide projects in this video, so there's a lot more to be learned. For this finishing step video, we are starting with an outfit that has been refitted to a new body shape. No matter how you do the refitting, whether that's a conversion reference, a custom body slider, building the shape in body slide, or manual editing, you have to complete the outfit conversion process by either making the size 0 and size 1 NIFs to add directly to your game, or by making it into a project so you can build it in body slide. For many outfit conversions, you'll end up with the outfit refitted to a reference shape, which is the shape you need for body slide. So now we need to take that reshaped outfit and actually make it into a body slide project. Make sure you have optimized the NIF you are going to use for this process as per our previous video or video number 22 of this series. This is important, even for the body slide shape NIFs. And I want to reiterate this just to be crystal clear. You must have the outfit refitted to the body slide reference shape before you can make it into a project. If it is currently fitted to a size 0 or size 1 NIF, you'll need to do a conversion step from that shape to the body slide reference shape. This can be done by making a slider, just like we did in video number 44, but with the shapes reversed. If you want to follow along with this video, we are going to start with the demo top that we refitted to the CBBE reference shape in our last video. Load that optimized NIF into Outfit Studio if you haven't already. Even if you don't need a body in your final outfit, you need to go ahead and load in the correct body slide reference body, or body part, for the shape that you've made so that we can conform everything to the body sliders. But before you do that, if you have a body already, rename it to something generic like original body. We need it for one more thing before deleting it from the outfit for good. Next. Load in the reference body that you have made the outfit for. For example, if you refitted an outfit to the CBBE body shape, then you need to load in the CBBE reference body. Likewise for BHUNP or whatever other body slide compatible body your outfit is made for. Go to File, Load Reference, and choose the body or body part that you need. If you already have sliders or zap sliders that you want to keep with the outfit, be sure to tick the boxes in this window here so that they will be merged with the new sliders when the reference loads. Next, check the partitions for the new body and make sure they match the partitions on the original body. If they do not, fix the new body to match the old one, or else you may get invisible wrists and ankles, as you can see here in the game. Once that is done, you can go ahead and delete the original body. We don't need it for anything else. Lastly, move the new reference body to the same spot in the mesh's list as the original body by dragging and dropping the mesh name. In our case, drop it on top of the project name so that it will be the first shape on the list. Remember that you should always keep your meshes in the same order as the original outfit so that you don't break texture sets. 
To get this outfit ready for body slide, we have to save it as a project. And we have to use the correct file structure and naming conventions so that it will work properly. There are different ways to do this, but I'll show you what I think is the most straightforward, simple way for this beginner example. First, let's change the project file path, just temporarily, so that we can easily find these files once we are done. Go to File, Settings, and expand the Advanced Settings menu. Next to the Project Path line, which should be blank, click the Browse button. We are going to make ourselves a folder right on the desktop for this. So navigate to your desktop and then click New Folder. Give it a name like Simply for Practice Body Slides or something else that you'll remember. Make sure that folder is selected and click Select Folder at the bottom. Then click OK to close the Settings menu. One very important point. This is only temporary. You will need to set this project path back to a blank line when we are all done, or else you won't see any body slide project files that are installed in your mod manager. This includes the reference body that we just loaded. So remember, you'll have to change this project path back to a blank line if you need to load a reference back in for some reason. I'll remind you when it's time to set this back to default later, and if you want to know why I'm even bothering with this step, please refer to my previous video on the subject of managing body slide projects. I will note that this is more important for Vortex users so that these files don't get lost in the data folders. If you use MO2, these files will get saved to the overwrite folder if you don't do this step. Okay, now we are ready to save our project. Go to File, Save As, and then fill out the boxes in the pop-up window. Display name is what will show up in the body slide drop-down list. Output file name must match the name of the underscore zero and underscore one NIFs in the mod. And likewise, the output data path must match the location of those NIFs in the mod. Slider set file, shape data folder, and shape data file have more flexibility for naming. For now, I suggest you just follow my lead and copy this exactly. We will talk more about all of these in a future video, probably as part of my body slide series. There is a lot more to discuss about setting up body slide projects, <laughs> a lot more. And all of that is beyond the scope of this beginner video. Okay, now we need to conform the outfit to the reference body sliders. If you don't do this, then the outfit will not change when you move the sliders, and it won't work in body slide. Before doing that, make sure that the reference body or body part, the one that came in with the sliders, is shown in green text. If it's not, right click on it and select set reference. Then go to slider, Conform All, and click OK to accept the default values. Or you can play around with these options if you need to get different results. Next, to make a really great conversion and body slide project, you need to go through every single slider on this list and make sure that they work well or edit those that don't. To do that, start at the top and click the pencil next to the first slider to put it in edit mode. See how the outfit responds. If everything looks good, just click the pencil again to exit edit mode and then repeat for the next slider. When you come to a slider that doesn't work well, you'll need to edit the shape of the mesh while the slider is purple using any tools that you need to make the mesh look good. That usually means using the inflate brush the Move Vertices brush, or even potentially moving entire parts with the Transform tool. Don't forget that you can and should mask vertices that do not need to be changed. And also, don't forget that you can unconform some vertices from the slider entirely with either Clear Slider Data or using the Undiff tool. 
and then you can readjust the shape manually with various Outfit Studio tools. Please see videos number 41 and number 42 for more detailed information on working with sliders. Once you've edited the shape to look good for a particular slider, click the pencil for that slider to exit edit mode and then move on to the next one. Continue doing this over and over until you have checked all the sliders and fix the mesh for any sliders that need fixing. Don't forget to save periodically along the way so that you don't lose any work. You can just hit save in this case, assuming that you followed along earlier and already saved this as a new project. Yes, working with all these sliders is tedious and sometimes annoying, but it's really crucial that you take the time to test and fix all the sliders if you want to make a quality body slide project. As a final step, consider if any part of the body needs to be deleted, which is a good thing to do if it's covered up by the outfit. For body slide projects, we don't want to delete the vertices directly, as this can mess up partitions and such. Instead, we make a zap slider. This will be covered in more detail in a separate video, but here is a brief rundown. Mask the body vertices that you want to keep and be sure to extend it a little bit under the edges of the outfit to prevent invisible gaps. Go to Slider, New Zap Slider, name it something like Body Zap, and click OK. Scroll down to find your new slider and click the pencil to put it in edit mode. The parts that will be zapped, or deleted when you build this outfit, should jump forward a bit and they will probably clip but that is normal and you can ignore it. Click the cog wheel and then make sure the boxes for zapped and hidden are both ticked and make sure that it is set to zapped as the default value. Then hit OK and save your project. When your project is completely finished, be sure to save the final version. Once you have done that, it's time to fix that project path that we talked about before. If you changed it, then it's time now to set it back to a blank line so that we don't break everything else in Outfit Studio and Body Slide. Go to File, Settings, and expand the Advanced Settings menu. Find the project path and delete what we put in there a while ago. Leave that line blank again and then click OK. Now we have to pack up our project all proper like and put it into our mod manager. We can do that right here on the desktop and then move the final mod that we create into MO2 or Vortex. Open up the folder that you made, which is called Simply for Practice Body Slides if you were following along, and there should be two folders inside, Shape Data and Slider Sets. These two folders need to be nested inside other folders named Caliente Tools and Body Slide. So go ahead and create those now. When you are done, it should look like this. And that's your new Body Slide mod. Congrats! Drag and drop this mod folder into your MO2 mods folder or into the big box at the bottom of Vortex to install it as a new mod. Refresh or redeploy and make sure that it's activated. Once you have installed your new mod, it's time to test it out. Open Body Slide and type Demo in the Outfit Filter box. You should have just one outfit listed now in the top drop down box, the Demo Top. At this point, you may want to go ahead and complete the setup of your project by setting up the appropriate groups. I recommend adding this to the CBBE group and also to a group for our demo mod called Simply for Practice. Save this using the mod name as well, as I've shown here, and please see my body slide video number six about groups if you'd like to know more about this. All right, let's preview our demo top and check a few of the presets to make sure it looks good. If anything looks amiss, 
reopen the project by clicking the little button up here in Body Slide. Make any necessary edits and then resave. Rinse and repeat until it all looks great. Pro tip, if there is a specific preset that has clipping, you can load that preset into Outfit Studio by going to Slider, Load Preset, and selecting it from the list. The sliders that are being used for that preset are the ones you'll want to check and tweak, if needed, by clicking the pencil and editing the mesh. It's most likely the combination of all the different slider positions that is causing the issue, so you'll want to put the slider back into position for that preset before checking or fixing the next slider. If you forget where a slider was, just reload the preset again. When it looks good, save the project and close Outfit Studio. Once your outfit is working well in Body Slide, go ahead and build it to your desired shape, then head into Skyrim to check it out. If you still aren't happy with how it looks, you can open the project directly in Outfit Studio by going to File, Load Project, and loading the slider set file for the project. Remember that we named this one simply for practice, and project files use extension OSP. Edit whatever needs editing, and save the project again. I recommend keeping a backup copy somewhere, like on your desktop, and just using Save Project at this point so that everything goes to the right place in your mod. Note that as long as the mod has been installed, activated, and deployed by your mod manager, when you save project, it should save the new version over the old version right within your mods folder. So you don't need to go hunting for the files anywhere else if you want to pack up that mod for sharing. However, note that any new files you create, such as the group XML file, that were not previously part of the mod will be saved to your mod manager's default location, which is the data folder for Vortex and the overwrite folder for MO2. It's best practice to include this group XML file in your mod, so just find it in one of those locations and move or copy it into a slider groups folder within your outfit mod. If you intend to release your mod for others to use, which I think is a great idea, I strongly suggest that you carefully check all the default presets to make sure there is no clipping, and that you refer to video number 7 in this series for tips on how to thoroughly test your outfit in the game. So there you go, that's the process for turning the reference mesh into a body slide project. Honestly, the hardest part, at least in my opinion, is the refitting from one body shape to another, or perfecting the weight painting. Once you have the right shape and have it all weighted nicely, then working with the sliders is not terribly difficult, it's just a bit time consuming. And don't forget about resources such as Uniboob, Unibutt, and Uniskirt references. These can save you a lot of time and hassle and improve the look of your outfit. We'll be doing a lot of different refits in the upcoming episodes. If you want to turn any of them into body slide projects, please remember to come back to this video as needed to finish the outfits off properly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon for the next video. Bye!